Good morning. Okay, so here's what we got into today. Uh, as I showed everybody yesterday, that spring is tilted in because the axle pushed this way. Um, it doesn't look like the shackle's bent at all. Um, the rubber in here might be just tweaked a little bit and back there as well. I'm going to get new U-bolts today and a new uh, whatever this plate is called. So I'm going to go ahead and get these out of here. They need one of them to take a measurement from. So I'm going to show you how I get these rusted corroded bolts out of here without cutting them. So let me go get set up and I'll get back. Now to get these bolts out, what I like to do is use a torch. Okay, uh, first of all, I have the truck supported on jack stands, and the tires, the tires are just just off the ground. So when I when I do cut these, the axle won't drop more than a quarter, you know, half an inch or so. So what I like to do here, and I'm not going to film the whole thing because it takes forever, is you're going to hit the nut, not the not the U-bolt, but the nut itself. What, that, what that's going to do is expand the metal on the nut, allowing it to uh, break free of the uh, threads on the U-bolt. And to further assist me in it, I'm going to use PE Blaster when it's, when it's hot. So it does two things. It lubricates the threads, but it also, it also cools the metal quickly and will break the uh, bond of rust between the threads on the nut and the bolt. So, and also when the, when the PB blaster gets on it, it gets drawn down in the threads to lubricate the whole thing. So I'm just gonna heat this up for, for about a minute and then I'll get back to you. So that was good and hot. And you can see, just like that, they come right off. Um, I can't get these, I can't just take these off just dry. And even PB Blaster just alone on it, what well, doesn't really work too well. So I need to do this to get them off. Uh, okay, so that's that one and now I got to take off the inside one because they want a good measurement and I, I can't use the impact because I can't reach unless I get an extension maybe I don't know we'll see what happens hang on I'm right near the tires so I'm trying to stay on the back side of the nut so I don't know how hot I got that but we'll give it a shot Judging by the smoke it's pretty hot well, it's going, but I'm just going to run through the battery, so I'll just heat that up a little bit more, and that should come off. Out of uh, juice, and I have to get my uh, settling torch. Let's see if that was enough to get this one off at least. Just at the hardware store, too. Wow, that was on there. All right, one more. Also, I'm going to need to uh, release tension on the sway bar um, to be able to move the axle back this direction. Because I don't know what happened here. I get the feeling that the truck slid sideways and whacked the curb or something and, and pushed the axle over. Either that or he was overloaded and uh, something happened there. But whatever it is, got to get it fixed. We'll get it taken care of. That'll do it for the day. Uh, I went and beat on this frame with a hammer and knocked all the scale off it. And just threw some black over it just to protect it from rusting and then I am going to come back and get into everything get it all blown out pressure washed and cleaned up but the new uh, 
the new uh, U-bolts are in, and you can see the the uh, leaf springs are now straight again. Yeah, so that's all done for the day. Uh, I got the new U-bolts in and the new backer plate, and you can see that the uh, the leaf springs are nice and straight now. So I got that out of there. And now, I'm just gonna go park this on the other side. I still got, you know, a ton, a ton, a ton of rust taken care of. I gotta fix those holes and all that stuff, but now I got the thing drivable. And uh, got it on the road today, and gotta go put the plates on it. And all that kind of stuff. So I think the next thing we do, I don't think I'm going to tackle the bed next. I just I ground this down a little bit just to kind of see what it would be like. And um, uh, I don't like doing it with the flap disc. So I think I'm going to try another section. First of all, this this is all still scale here. I, I really got to knock this crap out of here um, to get it down to this metal. And then up here... I got the uh, this texture off. It's rubber, and I got that off, and it's it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. It'll work. And then over here, this whole section is all scale. I can see that's all raised up. So I'm gonna beat on this, knock all that scale off, get all this ground down. I'm gonna try using a wire wheel on this one, this section here, and then um, throw some paint on it and see what it does compared to that. And kind of get an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I bought some paint. I was going to do the wheels. I think I'm. I, I don't know what I'm going to do them. These one. This one's up here is a fairly new rim, and it's like a, you know, like a battleship gray or primer gray. It's a, it's a gloss, and that's probably decent. I got some, um, what I thought was going to be silver. It's more like a. It's like a chrome. And I just sprayed it on just a little section to see if I liked it, and I don't. Uh, I think it's just too too gaudy. So I'm going to try to go back and find some, like, gloss uh, gray like those up there. And paint the rims and just clean them up, make them nicer. Uh, I went and got, you know, the whole front end here. This bumper is, this bumper is trashed. So I, I found a new bumper. I'm going to get that. It's all bent. Looks like it got pushed or whatever. I found a new bumper. I'm going to get a chrome bumper. Uh, these are the XL headlights. Um, this one over here is, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not in right. The screws are all broken. So I ended up buying the newer style headlight that doesn't have this separate piece. It's all just one. Uh, and so I got those. And then I also got a different grill. This grill's fine, but if I'm going to do a chrome bumper and a the newer headlights I might as well do the chrome grill and I did the uh, the 2005 and up grill um, you know the squared off one like I have on my blue truck so uh, when all that comes in I'll tear all this front end off and and do that oh and I also got mirrors this mirror here looks like they drilled a hole they drilled a hole in the bottom here to keep the mirror out and that one on the other side is actually missing is missing the mirror part it broke off so I ordered new mirrors, and I got them this style, the square ones. So I got those, and uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, and then tomorrow, I think I'm going to start pulling these fenders off to get to the whatever whatever's bent in there and bang on it and pull it and do whatever i got to do to uh, get that out. So, oh, I also ordered cab corners, and um, once they come in, we'll... We'll cut these out and learn how to do body work together. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for now. I think, uh, I think I'm think i just going to make a video on this, and then we'll continue later with something else. So if you could, please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.